Hey guys, welcome to another video and in today's video we're going to check out a new ROM for the K20 Pro that is AICP, Android Ice Cold Project. Now this ROM is old and it has been around for a lot of time, new ROM, old ROM, what am I saying? Well relax, all I'm trying to say here is this is the first time we are covering up AICP on the smartphone tutorials channel for the K20 Pro. This is the install and preview, we will install the ROM and have a quick look at the features of this ROM before I use it and give you guys a full review. Now, before we begin, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon so that you get notified every time I upload a video. And here's a card to my previous video for the K20 Pro. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Smartphone Tutorials. My name is Kalash, let's get going. Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we are going to install a brand new ROM. Uh, now this ROM is sort of nostalgic for me because I have been a part of the development of this ROM for the Sony Xperia series back when the Z1 and Z2 were a thing. So I was the official maintainer for this but now we are going to install it on the K20 Pro. That is correct, Android Ice Cold Project is the name of the ROM and we are going to install it. Now before we begin, let me tell you, you can join our Telegram channel and the discord server the link is mentioned in the description for both we can have a lot of fun over there and what you would need to flash AICP is you need to be on the latest vendor you have to have an unlocked bootloader with a custom TWRP installed make sure your phone has more than 50% battery this is for the K20 Pro not for the K20 and please back up all the information now in my case I always wipe everything including the internal storage for a fresh and clean install you will need the ROM file you will need G apps and in case you are not on the latest MIUI vendor you will need the vendor file as well now once you have all of that ready let's quickly reboot into recovery all right so now that we are in TWRP let's go to manage partitions data and format data over here all right now reboot into recovery all right now let's go to wipe Dalvik cache system data and internal storage wipe everything now remember we are not wiping the vendor because i am on the latest miui 12 vendor so go ahead and mount your usb otg drive all right so first select the aicp file and then select the g apps file and let the flashing begin there you go now this build is pretty latest it is dated the 17th of september so i am expecting that this would be coming with a september security patch and uh, this is the official aicp version for the k20 pro i'm just surprised with how many official roms that are available for this particular device let's wait for this to flash and then we will see how the rom looks and feels all right now as you can see everything has been flashed so let's wipe the cache and let's boot into system and see the first boot now what's interesting for this rom is also the boot animation let's see how that looks okay that's a brand new boot animation it does say aicp custom rom looks great let's wait for the rom to boot i have not used it i think i might be using it for a couple of days all right so as you can see over here we are on the home screen of aicp or android ice cold project now again every particular rom has a different way of you know having to give you a first boot now when we look at the camera over here this to me looks like the very very basic google camera yes that is that is that is that comes with most of the custom roms and this is a pure android uh, wallpaper if you will now the icon shapes and everything looks really really nice let's have a look at the system information what does it have to say this is a this is AICP custom ROM AICP 10 edition number 15 September security patch and this is one of the latest builds available for this particular ROM so looks great over there now if we go here you will have something called as for more functionality root your device okay this is the first ROM which actually suggests that you should have root so that you have more control on your phone which is actually good and bad not everyone would want to root but yeah 
if you have a look this is the change log three days ago four days ago five days ago so it's it's good the way they are giving you the change log and all the updates as to what exactly has been changed and apart from that you do have a lot of customization options available here you do have your gaming mode and all the other options as well so i think i will be using this rom as my daily for a couple of days and i can share with you the first impressions again if we go to the geo settings over here you would notice that it does have wi-fi calling and carrier video calling so that is all good and fine now as is the tradition we go ahead and check if this rom has call recording i'm pretty sure it does yep so it does have call recording it does have all the bells and whistles so all in all it looks like a pretty pretty solid and stable rom let's really really hope it works great and to be honest it is a very light rom when it comes to the size it's it's not exactly like a gig or something so yeah it works just fine now this was a quick install and preview for android i school project for the k20 pro let me know in the comment section if you would want to see a full review for this rom Until the next one this is Kalash signing off at smartphone tutorials keep smiling take care goodbye